morning everybody this is Danny back from Deep South Homestead we're over at the cabin guys it's time for us to start working on the bathtub that's been sitting on the porch for two years almost <laughs> um, today's just a pretty day it's a nice cool breezy morning so we kind of feel like this is a time to go to do this it's just a beautiful morning to be out working uh, I'm excited to get a chance to get started now, this is gonna be quite a little bit of a lengthy process we're gonna do the outside first because the outside is what's in the worst shape and like the drain part here is kind of rusted up pretty bad I just took the drain off of it and it's kind of rusted up a little bit up under here so I got to grind all this back down level and try to get that squared away and we've got a lot of rust issues starting on it here I got to try to get all that off somebody's just kind of halfway done it the paint's flaking off real bad I'm gonna try to hand grind a lot of it off but this thing was uh is a Stanford tub made in the United States uh, in Louisville. Uh, well, by Louisville Works, let me say that. It's a five and a half foot tub. Now, there's three numbers here. It says 52319. So I know that's not 2019 because I had it in 2019. So I don't know if that's 1919. I wouldn't think it would be that early, but. This day, this may mean something else. I haven't actually got online and looked it up to see about it, but it doesn't have any other date on it anywhere else that I can find. And so I know that it's an antique tub. I don't have a doubt about that. We're gonna fire up the old generator over here at the off-grid cabin and uh, get the hand grinder with a paper grinding wheel on it, not a metal grinding, but a paper one. And we're gonna see if we can't clean some of this old paint off and get it squared away. Now this one is a claw foot tub. It has where the feet go in here. I've got all them already taken care of. We've done them in oil rubbed bronze. I've got new stainless bolts to go in everything so we don't have to worry about anything rusting underneath it. I'm trying to fix it back better than it was. So guys, let's see what she starts looking like. Okay, what I'm noticing is that the ones who painted this before I had it did not take the rust off, they painted over the rust. So we're gonna have to put a really good primer on this before we actually paint it. Alright guys, after doing a lot of sanding and grinding and everything on it, we've come to the realization that the tub had been painted like on, only on one side. Now that's typical of people who are, do things the cheap way. If it's sitting in a house, they just you can only see one side of the tub, so they just painted one side of it. It was a peach color at one time, then it was a, green, a lime green color, and then the last time it was white. So we tried to take as much of that off as we could and get it down to as much of the metal as we could. And we're using a uh, Rust-Oleum primer here. This is a fast drying primer. Um, it's, it's what I use on a lot of the metals and stuff like that that I, uh, that I work with. I like it because it sprays from any angle. You, it don't matter how you do it. We did do a little research on the tub. Uh, this is an antique tub. It was made in 1919 on uh, 523. May the 23rd, uh, 1919. Uh, it's a standard uh, five and a half inch tub made by SSM Company, uh, Louisville Works. We just done a little research on it while we were sitting here getting ready to paint and realized that it was truly 
an antique clawfoot vintage tub. So uh, there is a few things I'm having to do. I've had to go get my flat file. This was just too much to grind. Um, I've already been working on it close to 30 minutes and I still got some pitted places in it here. I'm gonna just keep working with my flat file, trying to get this thing filed off as smooth as possible and get rid of all these pit marks so when I put the drain in, the, uh, the rubber gasket makes sure that it makes a really good seal here on the bottom. And I've got a suspicion that this is gonna take me probably another hour or so just sitting here doing this because I've already been at it for a while. I'm gonna spray the whole thing with this good primer. Then once that dries real good, we're gonna come back with a good oil base, high gloss, white paint on the outside of it. All right, we've got the tub all primed. It's all dried real good. We're going to be using a high gloss white Rust-Oleum protecting enamel. Again, it protects against rust and we're using an oil based paint so that um, we get a good quality finish on this tub here. Nice gloss white paint. Let's see what we're going to look like. With. Oh yeah. Probably take a couple of coats. White usually takes a couple of coats. Got paint around here where we're going to put these faucets and stuff at. cabin now. The bottom of the tub has completely dried like we wanted. We put some towels down and on top of some strips we laid the tub over on the towels so they're not directly against the wood. And Now comes the daunting task of working on this part to do the epoxy in here. It's all uh, it's got a lot of dirt in it. I'm gonna have to uh, get in here and clean all this out. And whoever owned it prior to us put a paint roller in it looks like with some paint in it so we're gonna have to get and sand all this out of here uh i see sheetrock mud in it and all that so it was in the house where they were doing some work on it so i'm gonna have to get a vacuum cleaner i suppose and see if i can vacuum all this out of here Okay guys, our outside has dried enough now. We are now working on the inside of the tub. We're using two different orbital sanders. We're trying to, uh, basically we're trying to rough up the porcelain. You, you will not get it back down to where it's bright white. That's not the purpose of doing what we're doing. The purpose is to create some little rough grooves all in this porcelain on here with sandpaper so that the new uh, epoxy coating that we're going to be putting on here will actually bond to the porcelain. You gotta have a rough finish on it. So that's what we're doing. And just trying to get the rough finish. A lot of this stuff is stained into the porcelain that's already here. It's not going to come out. But the new white 
uh, epoxy that we're going to be using on it. Uh, we'll cover all that up and uh, it won't make any difference in the world. Biggest issue right now is just trying to work out some of the rough spots. There's some little rough places in here everywhere. I'm trying to get rid of them and uh, get it scuffed up real good around the whole thing. And then once I get that done, I can mix the epoxy. Well guys, we've got the whole tub sanded now. What we're going to be doing now is we got to wipe her down real good. I may use some paint thinner on a rag or something and go ahead and wipe this thing down and give it a chance to dry. And uh, then it's just mixing the epoxy and getting it put on. And that is a challenge because it's time of the year now. We have love bugs and stuff coming in and the wind's blowing and stuff's a falling and we're hoping and praying that we can keep it off of it. Okay guys, this is a Rust-Oleum tub and tile refinishing kit. I uh, picked it up at the local hardware store. I've used these before. I've had really good success with them. It usually takes about two coats to do it. I'll usually mix half of this and half of this and uh, in the thing and stir it up. And then I take a short nap roller and uh, apply it with it. Or you can use a real fine bristle brush that's made for uh, oil or varnish uh, and it'll work just fine. Just when you mix it up, you don't need to wait a whole long time. You need to use it up pretty quick. Well, this is made right, can of pour right in it. Well, then mix it up, put the lid back on it. That's what the deal is. I bet that's what it is, ain't it? I'm pretty sure it is. They thought of that ahead of time. I just gotta hope it stays good for six hours. First coat's been drying for a little over an hour. It's time for the second coat to see what we're gonna actually end up with. And you started with a new roller. Started with a new roller. Yep, you don't get a second shot with them. And so far, very little bugs wanting to get into our stuff, right? Yeah, that's been the beauty of it all. We've had very little bug issues. And you um, wanna stop it, start at the bottom. Yeah, you always wanna start at the bottom. It's already so much better than it was till till we can live with it. And this has to dry what three weeks? Uh, no, uh, -uh. It's about I mean, three before days you, before you put water in it. It says three days before you put water. Three in it. days. Yeah. Okay, so three days. We've got three days. I'll tell you what, it's a it's gonna be pretty. It's beautiful. If I do say so myself, watching you do it. And this is supposed to be self-leveling. Yes. So once it starts sealing over good, it's supposed to smooth out and not have runs and all that. Well, this is coat number two. It is shiny white. What you thinking, Papa? And how nice it's going to be to sit in that baby. 
Looks like a brand new one. It is beginning to take shape. Well, guys, we're out here this morning. <clears throat> it's actually just breaking daylight. Wanda and I left the tub sitting overnight. Uh, we wanted to kind of see what it looked like this morning, and I'm telling you what, it looks like a brand new one. I am excited. It turned out just lovely. Uh, I think that, uh, I think I'm just excited now to get it in the cabin. I mean, I, me and Ms. Wanda, we can get some help to get uh, get this thing lifted up and get it inside the cabin. We can get the claw feet put back on it and I can get all the new faucets put on it and everything. And uh, Can't wait for that first bath. Going to be nice. Right here is a project I've been working on. Well, I've not necessarily been working on it, but I have had it for at least two years now. And uh, it's been such a project to get this thing done because of how much work was involved in it. We, we could have just went and bought something and just put it in here, but it's not what we wanted. We wanted something that was an antique to go in here, and Wanda and I looked long and hard and two years ago at uh, a, uh, I'm gonna call it a antique place, one and I walked into it called Two Fat Friends and I saw this claw foot tub sitting there with a mannequin in it. And I told her, I said, this is what I want right here. It looked like it was in good shape, wasn't broke up or chipped or broke anything, you know, anything was wrong with it. And I, I talked to the owner of the place and they made a deal with me on it. We was able to purchase it and they loaded it up for us. We brought it home. We put it on the porch of the cabin and it has sit there for about a year and a half. Uh, just simply because I haven't had time to mess with it. We've been building other things in the cabin, trying to get them done. But now that we had the bathroom done, uh, several months had gone by. I told one that I said, I just got to do this. So I take and over on Patreon, we showed this. We showed how I refinished the tub and uh, I, I went back and put the coating on the inside of it, the new finish and everything on it. Uh, we got some help. Uh, we redone the claw feet on them. Uh, we got some help to get that thing moved in here uh, because this thing is like super heavy. Okay, guys, we've got the top here now around the tub. And we're going to be revealing the look of the new tub system we have installed here in the off-grid cabin. This one has chosen a very nice um, shower curtain on the outside out here. has Bible verses all over it. I really like that. The colors go well with the tile on the floor. They go well with the colors of the wall. Yeah, I think it's a win-win situation for us. There it is. Let me get around here where we can... There it is. Isn't that nice? Nice new finish, nice new faucet system with the oil rubbed bronze, just like the rest of everything else in here is. We got us a soap thing. We got the claw feet tub, they're oil rubbed bronze. It all matches real well. All the faucet system is in behind it back there. It's all got its own shut off valves, everything we can turn the water off if we need to. It's been completely finished both inside and out. It's like having a brand new 100 year old bathtub. Well guys, the next big thing here is Miss Wanda's gonna run her a bubble bath and she's gonna come over here and enjoy herself a bubble bath in the off-grid cabin. And guys, I am so excited. I have one room, as soon as all the towels and the rugs and all get here, one room in the cabin is now complete. And we are so excited. This has been so long in the making. We have our all of our lighting systems all in here. I mean, guys, it is totally amazing. Uh, we actually have a uh, 12 volt LED light system involved, installed in here. We can use the 12 volt system in here. All the bathroom is in. I'm, I'm just, I can't believe I actually have one room that's actually finished in the off-grid cabin.
It has been a long time coming. So guys, stay with us. Uh, we got to get a curtain. I will say that. We got to get a curtain. But all the construction part of it's over. It's ready where we can take a bath. We can use a bathroom. We can wash our hands, brush our teeth, whatever we need to do. We can do it in the bathroom now, guys. And it has been a long time coming. Several years now. Uh, good things come to those who wait. Thank you, guys, from Deep South Homestead. And this... Spray it around the old tub. Pretty awesome.